The Central Bank of Nigeria Monetary Policy Committee has retained the monetary policy rate at 12.5%. This was announced by the governor of the CBN, Godwin Emefiele, at the end of the MPC's meeting on Monday. There were two members of the MPR pushing for the rate to be reduced, but eight members of the committee formed the majority that voted for the retention of the rates to be kept at 12.5%. The cash reserve ratio, CRR, was also retained at 27.5%, with liquidity ratio at 30%, and the asymmetric corridor was was kept at plus 200 minus 500 basis points. Joining us live via Skype is the former chairman, Nigerian Economic Summit Group, Buka Kiari. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. What is your take on the retention of the interest rate? Um, it is expected, even though uh, personally, I would like to see uh, a more expan expansionary posture. That way, the, the, the way things are going, it would help uh, generate more credit in the, in the market. Of course, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic has brought in uh, uh, lesser uh, activity in the economy. Um, the expectation from the last cut that they made uh, is what the central bank is attributing to the increase in credits into the by the banking system of about 3.3 trillion naira in the last uh, three or so months. Therefore, uh, a further reduction would have been fine. But the fear of the central bank is basically inflation. Inflation has been inching up uh, since the year started, and uh, it had not abated. And uh, therefore, a further reduction would would, would, would basically goose inflation and, uh, you know, we may end up having inflationary run. The other fear that the central bank may also have is the effect of having a larger liquidity in the system. That way, it will be counterproductive to the exchange rate. So the fear uh, there is uh, real uh, because the central bank in the last three or four months have taken some unusual and unorthodox measures of uh, uh, qu quarantine cash res increasing cash reserve ratio via some unorthodox methods. And uh, that basically means that one is expecting that the CRR might be increased, um, but, but uh, keeping it at 27.5 sounds like the central bank is still bullish about a further rate cut probably down the road, uh, but they need to get more data. Uh, the other thing is that I think one of the things that need to be appreciated is basically the encouragement that the central bank is, uh, uh, you know, pushing banks to have a larger uh, forbearance of the total credit. Uh, the total credit in the banking system as of end of June was 18.9 trillion. Out of that, uh, 7.8 trillion have been given forbearance, meaning that they can actually extend yeah. payments of it's kind of a moratorium uh, of payments because of the pandemic. Central bank's opinion is that it should be somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 to 65%, which is a bit realistic because you're going to cover all the people that are doing trade as a business you know, many of the manufacturing sectors, because some of their products are not moving very well, therefore cash may not be coming in. The technology space like telecoms may still may actually be making more money. So for the credit to the telecoms may not require forbearance per se. So yeah. essentially, I think uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a, it was a good move. It was expected. Uh, I may be with the 20% or two out of the 10 that have, uh, you know, who are looking for a more of an expansionary posture. But I do understand on the other side, where the majority of the MPC members voted to okay. retain uh, okay. the MPR rate. Uh, while it is true that the CBN has retained the rate for quite a long time, um, um, shouldn't the current reality, and, and of course that is with the pandemic, make them reduce the rate uh, to a much desired single digit and also um, I mean, same question, basically, do you, would you say that, you know, right after we recover or we get over the pandemic, um, there is also opportunities of reducing the rate further for economic um, recovery? Yes. In fact, I think what the central bank is thinking is that 
they want to see the effect of the last reduction. Um, and the data is showing that. I, I am not quite impressed with the only 3.3 trillion and raising the total debt uh, in the system of 18.9 trillion for an economy that is uh, much larger. The, the credit uh, in the banking system ought to be in the neighborhood of, uh, you know, close to 50, maybe even 100 trillion. Uh, but that is, you know, that is something that we need to look at structurally. But but the key reason why we many of many people not 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 quite a lot, but many are expecting that there should be an expansionary policy because of the situation we are in, which is the pandemic. Uh, 